Hello guys and welcome to my bow and 2H animation cancelling video. We're going to look at a commentary of some PvP clips and we're going to talk exactly what's going through here. So, we're going to start on this clip here. I open with the bow heavy attack into the critical rush, light attack javelin bash, and he quickly dodge rolls my executioner that I follow after my javelin. He does take the stun. Um, this guy goes to try to save himself here and you can see I dot him up with poison injection, burning light, and then I just uh, javelin him one more time when his immunity's down, and he's kind of in a hopeless situation there. So the whole point of animation cancelling with 2H and bow is to have kind of quick and spiky combos. So a big part of it is going to be learning to use that bow heavy attack into your critical rush, into uh, whatever skills you want to clip on the end of it. The way this game works is there's about a one second cooldown between skills after you cast them. So that doesn't include the distance of the gap closer. You see that I'll cast my heavy attack into the critical rush there and as soon as I land on the target I'm able to follow up with the javelin and this is just due to that cooldown being met because that one second went by while I was traveling the distance of the crit rush itself so I do a quick partial charged heavy into crit rush on this guy I go right into the bat swarm off a of roll dodge cancel so I do bat swarm into roll dodge and then what I'm left to do is just kind of charge my heavy attacks and huck javelins at these guys while they can't see me um, I catch them totally off guard in the corridor, so I managed to nuke them all down really fast. So, uh, let's move on to the next clip, guys. So, in this next clip here, we are also in the sewers. Now, you're going to see I go for uh, a heavy attack into the crit rush, and you see that my character actually gets bugged out. I totally don't even register that my character threw a crit rush. Um, and the game just says, nope, you're not going to hit anything. So I quickly back out, and these guys are kind of aware of my presence right off the bat. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to keep that bow heavy attack cocked and make sure that my, buff, my buffs are up. The reason that bow heavy attack is so important is because it's a really easy swap cancel into a javelin or a heavy attack swap cancel into the critical rush or even just follow it with a poison injection to dot someone up. I get my opportunity on this guy here. You see that I do a bow heavy attack into the crit rush quick light attack execution or quick light attack javelin and then execute him to bring him down and then of course I'm just gonna kite back a bit a little low on resources here I see this guy going for the res I do a quick javelin huck at him I partial charge a bow heavy attack as well throwing a little bit of damage right into my swarm so they can't see what I'm doing I want to take down the guy that I had just killed right away so I managed to bring him down one more time and then of course I'm just gonna kind of back up here really pull them out and of course the bow heavy attack comes this guy shows up weapon swap into binding javelin fully charged heavy attack weapon swap into poison injection then light attack executioner uh, and he's done of course I threw in a little crit rush light attack combo in there too um, and then I'm left to kill this guy yet one, yet again. I get him with just the bow heavy attack into the crit rush there. He takes a lot of damage. This guy actually dodges my javelin on the first try. He dodges my, uh, almost dodges the second javelin. I hold the heavy attack. Now that's important to note there. I held the heavy attack because I knew he was going to roll. And I wanted to give it as much time as possible so I could huck the javelin and it would still hit him. He ends up blocking that one there. I'm trying to dot this guy up really good. You see I do the great sword heavy attack into the javelin he's got the bind burning light on him poison injection low on hp and all it just takes is just a lot of pressure um offensively rotating on these guys and they just cannot stay up and then all i'm left for is this uh little templar up there just one quick bow heavy attack weapon swap into the binding javelin light attack executioner to bring him down uh, I run into this guy in the hallway here. He is a Templar. I know that by the uh, light armor that he's got on him. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to dot him up really hard. You see there, I could have gone for the Executioner to finish him off. But instead, I decided to dot him up, expecting him to heal. But he did not heal himself. So he actually just kind of went down there because he did not keep himself alive. You see a quick bow light attack into the crit critical rush there. I don't do a lot of damage with it because there's quite a minimum distance combo on this guy. Um, as soon as the first combo fails, what I'm going to do is poison inject, power of the light, dot him up really good. He turns around and decides that's when he's going to attack. He eats my heavy attack at full strength into the javelin, and that is it. All right, guys, so let's move on to the last clip uh, for this video. This is just going to be uh, a bit of a group fight that I had here, and the reason that I chose this fight is because I got some really nice combos off on some players here. Um, and of course, uh, in a group situation, it's a lot easier to get your cancel combos off. 
Um, I know uh, one on one it can be uh, it can be a lot easier as well, but one v x it's very difficult to get those combos off, and that's really where Bow Two H shines in my opinion. You can do some really fast high damage animation cancel combos on players with Bow Two H, and it allows you to uh, really take advantage of it. And there you guys go, the signature heavy attack critical rush, and I only hit him with the light attack at the end there, and that guy goes down right away very fast clean kill on him there right back into stealth and i know my job here heavy attack into critical rush light attack executioner bash and that guy drops as well so fast and that's just kind of like how much damage you can do with these combos if uh someone is unaware and you land this combo on them it is so deadly so deadly so i'm just kind of like taking my time here just being patient they nuke down one of the ep players but uh it's not the end of the fight by any means so I do a crit rush through that Sork, uh, knowing my buddies kind of got that fight under control. I go attacking this Nightblade. He ends up just kind of like holding block. He fears me and stealths just in time. Uh, I don't have the detect pot up, of course. Not about to blow it because I do think I'm going to need this damn pot here as well. And uh, then we're left with just this last Sork here. And you see that really awesome greatsword clip. I'm just going to replay that one more time in slow-mo for you guys. Bow heavy attack into poison injection. I do the uh, bow light attack into the critical rush. You see them both land there. Light attack, executioner, and then the poison injection dot goes off on him. And I cancel the light attack, executioner combo with a roll dodge. And you see just how fast I can get all those different attacks to land at the same time on this guy. So there you guys have it. That is some bow 2H animation canceling commentary. I really hope you guys enjoyed the clips and, of course, the commentary. And I really hope you guys learned something. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you like the video. And feel free to sub to the channel. I hope to see you guys again soon.